Let's go check out the casino. Must be 2.15. Oh, and the tuna club. Remember in the tuna club. That is the saltwater fishing. Tuna Club of Avalon. It marks the birthplace of modern big game sport fishing in 1898. The big giant statue of, I'm guessing, a tuna. I would assume it's a tuna. The leaping tuna. Yes, it is a tuna. We're starting to be recognized around the ship, so my mom was the admin for the Facebook group, and as part of her admin stuff, she decided she wanted to give away stickers with the channel on it. They're super cute, and basically the thing was you had to say the name of the channel, Midlight Labs, and now we were getting people Hi. driving by in a golf cart, shouting at the top of their lungs, Midlight Labs, <laughs> and it's just... It's a little surreal, <laughs> because this channel at this point has like 190 followers. We're a very small channel, but it's, it, it's really kind of cool. And maybe we can continue, to, continue grow. to grow and hopefully people can go and explore and join on this crazy adventure and exploration and experiments of ours. And bring information and helpful tips to everyone, because mm -hmm. that's really what we're about. Yeah, we're not, we're not looking for sponsorships. We're not looking for partnerships, at least not as of right now. There's a lot of legal loopholes that I would have to go through for that. We're not looking for monetizing. No, we're just looking to have fun and have a creative outlet. So this is, this is really cool. <laughs> Catalina is known for its tile and in the tile are the native animals. So here we've got, looks like there's a native hermit crab. That's a hermit crab. That looks like a California quail though. Avalon Casino has never had any gambling in it. It uses the Italian meaning of the term casino, meaning gathering place. There's our beautiful murals here. So the lower level I don't quite remember what's in each level, but I know that there's no gambling here. I know that their upper level is a ballroom, and I think maybe the lower level is a movie theater. And it's a gathering place with some beautiful ironwork. It's absolutely gorgeous. And there's tours of the casino, and it's a historic location. We saw squirrels. We saw bison who are not native. Twice we saw bison. Yes. Hopefully I got a little bit of footage of them. Um, what else did we see? Saw a lot of squirrels. Uh, One of them tried to commit suicide in front of our truck. <laughs> he did not succeed. Hawk. We did see, yeah, we saw a hawk. We saw ravens, um, we saw but we did not, I didn't see any foxes. No foxes, but did we see a bald eagle? Uh, no, but they're working on bringing the bald eagle population back. And it was just, it's so much knowledge and information. One of the really cool pieces they told us was basically how the island came to be how it is. And it was gifted, it was traded in exchange for a fast horse and a silver studded saddle. During the, Cal like the revolution in California? The colonization sort of California yeah. by 
I explorers. Have, I'd have to get the name. Yeah. But basically, the Calif the locals were uprising in the 1890s. I think it was 1890s. It might have been older than that. Right. And the governor of the California of California at the time, which was still under uh, power of Mexico or Spain, Spain. I don't know, Spain. Right. Um, President Polk sent out a group of people to survey the coast of California survey and those people ended up fighting they didn't fight they just provided weapons for those who might want to lead uh, an uprising right that's and the politically correct right. uh, nice way of putting yeah. it I wouldn't even say correct politically nice way of putting it <laughs> the Wrigley family of the chewing gum, the island was, they gifted about over 80% of the island to the Conservancy. And any family, the family members that have additional parts, they can't privately sell it. It goes, if they want to give away, get rid of the property at some point, they have to sell it back to the Conservancy or at it goes fair back. market value. Yeah. So, they can't make a billion dollars on it. Yeah, it can't be privately developed and, and marketed and sold, which is means that Catalina is going to live on and continue being natural, which is super important because how many of these islands are still the way they are without being monetized? So it's beautiful. There, there's some more of the Catalina tile, which Catalina is known for its tile. So there's like the fox, the Catalina fox. And the quail, pelican, squirrel. So many of these. Ooh, bats! Yes, there are bats on the island. They couldn't tear down a bard that was from like the 1890s because bats were living in it. This barn is no longer inhabited, it is uninhabitable. Uh, it's below a reservoir. But bats live there, so they can't take it down. I think this is my favorite part of the mural. I just love his little face. He's so cute. So we are so lucky to have had today in Catalina. The weather the last few weeks has been so cold and rainy. Originally it was predicted to be super windy and possible rain prediction the weather kept changing and changing so we hit a perfect day we had a great tour with Catalina Conservancy we had great food at ND MK MK and we had a nice little walk down to the casino and now we're gonna head back to the ship yep. the non gambling casino <laughs> and it was great it was a great way to spend the day in Catalina and I would come back here anytime I would even come back here not on a ship This is one of the things that caught my attention earlier today, and I have no idea what it's for. I almost wonder if it was originally for, like, a fire extinguisher or something, or a fire hydrant. Something specific? I have no idea, but it's got this metal ironwork at the bottom, and then the specific cutout at the top. So maybe it was a planter, but I would imagine a planter would be a standard size. If you are doing a tour with the Catalina Conservancy, you meet here at Trailhead. This is a super cute little store. With that, it's time for us to head back to the ship. Go enjoy our evening because it is almost four o'clock. Is it four o'clock or is Okay, it's 3.15. Uh, yeah, we're gonna head back to the ship. Uh, last call for boarding is 4.44. Not 4.45, 4.44. So we're gonna head on back and we will see you back on the ship. We got back from Catalina and took a little nap because we didn't get to bed till like 11 o'clock last night after going to Cadillac with new friends. But we came back and decided to go to Signals for happy hour and we got today's drink of the day, which is a California dream. And I'll put what it is on the screen somewhere. 
because I don't know what's in it. It's a brand new drink of the day for me, but I like it. It's perfectly fitting because here we are off of Catalina. And it's pretty good. Welcome to Whitecaps. Whitecaps is one of two shops on The Wonder, just by the Walt Disney Theater on Deck 4 Forward. As you enter the shop, you'll see a variety of Wonder-specific merchandise. That includes those Disney Wonder Spirit jerseys. You'll want to get there early, and usually probably almost a half an hour early on Embarkation Day if you want to snag one in your size. There's also t-shirts for kids and adults, and window clings featuring the stern art of the Disney Wonder. Whitecaps is also where you'll find your more grown-up merchandise. This includes non-branded items, as well as some more subtly branded professional items, which you can get away with wearing to work without it screaming, I went on a Disney cruise! You'll also find your luxury jewelry here, such as your Pandora charms, including the Disney Wonder exclusives, and Tag Heuer watches. Chris Lou is another luxury jeweler brand featured here on The Wonder, and this is also where you'll find your spirit jerseys and those highly sought after Cruise Line exclusive Loungefly backpacks. There's even some pride merchandise here. You'll find more of your keepsake items here in Whitecaps as well, including ship models and figurines of the ship statue. Mickey's mainsail is just across the way. We find this shop to be a little more family-oriented, and you'll see fewer spirit jerseys and Dooney and Burke bags, and more family wear, such as swimwear, t-shirts, and more, as well as toys, games, pins, and those highly sought-after Mickey ears. Mickey's mainsail is also where the pirate section is. While the Wonder is currently still providing bandanas to all cruisers, these are great backups. And this is where you'll find the elusive Pirate Stitch Lounge Fly Backpack. Finally, there's a variety of essentials available for purchase here as well. How is the Brie? No cheese bowl, but Brie Brie doesn't really cheese bowl. It's really good. Okay. Oh, Gotta get it with oh, the, the chutney. Ah! Oh, on my finger. Lots of brie around the table. Lots of the brie. Okay. Here's with the chutney. Yeah. It's good, isn't it? I like it. Mm, yeah. I really like this. Okay. The leek and potato soup, my favorite soup on the ship. Potato. Potato like, soup. I like potato. A potato lot. soup is good. Well, I do wish it had like chunks of potato. I do too. It would be better with a little more tooth to it. Yeah, like, you know, just loaded like baked potato soups. Yes. And which one is that one? This is a pear salad. Ooh, I haven't seen that one. That one's like, li this is literally the first time I've seen the pear salad. It's mm. a wine. Ooh, a wine in, like a wine. So raised. Um, there we go. Yeah. That's the word. <laughs> Over yeah. greens. I don't know what the greens are. That looks like arugula. arugula or rocket. And it's got some kind of hammered. Yeah, I bet that's what it is. Okay. Looks Very really good. tasty. Yeah? Good. That's why I ordered two. <laughs> <laughs> this is the rack of lamb, which I have never had before. Really? This you is my favorite one here. Yeah. yeah. Uh, it's delicious. Uh, I even got my niece to try it last time. She was obsessed. Yeah. So I'm not into lamb. So this one is the tofu thing. Marinated grilled tofu. There we go. Marinated grilled tofu. With uh, roasted veggies and Israeli couscous. Ooh. This is the Chateau Briand. The, the Grand Marnier Souffle. But they didn't make the hole for me this time, so. I'm gonna try to remember how they did it because they don't pour the entire thing in. I learned that lesson last time, the first time. You don't pour the entire thing in, you just pour some of it. Okay, I could eat all of that. We'll hope that I've done it right. Give yours first. Do you want to rank your best to least? One, two. One and two. No, no three more, but. I didn't try this on Sunday. 
the sundae is it's like, a, like more needs more sugar, sugar to be caramelized on it. Yeah. Yes. This is good if you like a simple dessert. It's vanilla ice cream, strawberries, whipped cream. It's a sundae. A you can't, it's of, hard to screw up a, a sundae. Little, yeah, a little shortbread cake on top. Oh man, I really like texture and flavor of the souffle. I like the taste of the creme brulee, but I do wish it had a, a thicker crust. Yep. Um, I'm not really much for like really super duper rich chocolates, but I mean the sugar free one holds up like it's, it's good chocolate. Um, so I would say one, two, three, just because I, I like a little something. Sometimes you just like, you know, a simple strawberry vanilla. Well, it's supposed to be a strawberry shortbread. Oh, well, I ate the little, no, I ate the little shortbread cookie that was on top. <laughs> we are skipping Golden Mickey's tonight. Blasphemy. Um, it, I love, I love me some Golden Mickey's, but I'm okay to miss it. So, the walking tour, or the walking lap here on the Disney Wonder, takes you up into the bow, where you get to see a little bit of the engineering spaces, which is always my favorite spot on the ship to come and just kind of loiter, because it's super cool up here, I think. All of these are actual things that are used. Uh, oh, and we got some new, it looks like we got some new line in. There's some new rope here. Ooh, I thought we could see how thick this rope is. You can kind of see there how big the rope is. Now, for perspective, it's like my finger. Each of those is like an inch wide. That's huge. This is so cool. I love this kind of stuff. Tonight we have a cute little piggy with some bedroom eyes. <laughs> that is so funny. We did manage to go hide some duckies and go and even caught my absolute favorite song in Golden Mickey's, which is the Hunchback of Notre Dame for, uh, out there, followed by Son of Man by Tarzan, from Tarzan. Always my personal favorite part of the Golden Mickey's and was just absolutely, I, I cry every time, every time. Can't help it, sorry. Um, absolutely amazing. So did that. And then we went down to our Facebook group meetup. And of course, I forgot to get any footage of it. Um, Sorry, y'all. I am very, very tired, and I'm going to be heading to bed soon, but thank you all for coming to the Facebook meetup. It was a ton of fun. It's been so great to see so many of the Facebook group members around the ship, talking to them, talking to my mom, and it's been such a heartwarming experience to see how much her hard work on admitting the Facebook group has really paid off for all of these first-time cruisers and new cruisers and first time Disney cruisers. It's been, it's been really cool. Um, but with that, I'm going to go to bed. It is, it's nearly 11 o'clock again, but tomorrow I'm not waking up early, but I got to go to bed soon because I am crashing hard. So it's been a great day at Catalina. And with that, tomorrow's Ensenada day and we are not getting off the ship and we're just going to take it real easy. So I will see you tomorrow or by the time I edit this in a week or two but with that I'll see you soon
sure there will be our australian reef safe sun product at the time